Hi, this is Chris from Moto Legends, the champ in the cap, here today to talk to you about one of our favourite mid-season gloves. It's called the Rucker Virium. Now, mid-season glove is the kind of glove that you would wear, I suppose, from sometime around the beginning of April to the end of October. Um, it's a glove that will sometimes also be known as a two to three season glove or a summer waterproof glove. <clears throat> so a glove like this has no thermal properties. It has no insulating material. What it does have is a waterproof membrane. So that means that obviously it's going to be great in the rain, but it will see you into reasonably cold temperatures because the waterproof membrane is also a windproof membrane. In terms of this particular glove, it's a Gore-Tex glove, so it has a Gore-Tex membrane. Um, is Gore-Tex the best membrane? Yes and no, um, that is debatable. But what you know is that when you buy a glove with a Gore-Tex membrane, or indeed any product with a Gore-Tex membrane, the design of that item has been approved by Gore. So you know you're gonna get a product that works. In terms of this particular glove, this has a Gore grip membrane, and that means it's a laminated membrane. Laminated means that it is bonded to the outer, to the inside layer of the outer fabric. What laminated does is ensure that a product does not wet out. It applies to jackets, pants, gloves equally. In a traditional waterproof item, you have what's called a drop liner membrane, whereby you have the outer surface for protection, and then you have a waterproof membrane that just sits loosely on the inside. Works perfectly well, rain does not reach the body. But when it rains heavily, water can get into the outside surface and sit between the outside surface of the garment and the waterproof membrane. What that can do is make you feel cold. You reach a situation eventually that we call wetting out, where the glove or the jacket or the pant is soaking wet. Because you're riding along at 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, the wind chill effect on that water in the glove or the jacket or the, or the pant just makes you feel cold. That cannot happen to anywhere near the same extent with a laminated membrane. Because the membrane is bonded onto the outer surface, the outer surface gets damp, obviously it does, but it can't seep into the product, so it stays drier. In terms of this glove, I just want to talk through some of the features. Um, because there's a lot to, to talk about with this particular glove. Um, the wrist, we've got a fastener of the extended wrist and across the, the, the wrist here, we have 3M scotch light reflectors. The back surface of the glove is all textile. That is something that we particularly like in a winter or waterproof glove. We think it's a mistake when somebody produces a uh, supposedly waterproof glove or a winter glove and it's all leather because leather is hydrophilic. It will soak the rain in and that's going to increase the propensity to do what I was talking about, which is that wetting out. So for a glove that is truly waterproof to maximise the benefits of a membrane, it's best to have as much textile as you can on the outer surface, on the upper surface of a glove, and this glove is entirely a textile. Um, another reason why this is such a waterproof glove. Here on the knuckles, we have a hard protector. We have smaller protectors here on the minor knuckles. Touchscreen sensitive fingers on both the forefinger and the thumb. That's important because it means if you've got a sat nav, you can enlarge the maps. A lot of glove makers just put it on the forefinger, which is fine if you just want to use a simple function and scroll up and down, but to have it on both fingers um, increases the functionality. So that's always useful to have. On the palm, we have extra layers of, of leather. There's a whole piece of extra leather here. Um, there's a piece that comes down the forefinger onto the thumb. That's to kind of protect you in the event of an accident where often your thumb can get pulled back. We have a scaphoid protector here. Reason we want leather or something like it on the palm of a glove is if we go down, there's a propensity, a tendency to put your hands out. Therefore, that's often the first surface that comes into contact with, uh, with the road. Having said this is leather, it's technically not leather. It's a leather substitute. Just as strong as leather does the same job. It does, however, have a byproduct of, um, the byproduct being that you can buy this glove if you are looking for a vegan product. There's actually no leather anywhere on this glove. On the fingers, we have digiprint patterns here and across the palm. 
there just to give you extra purchase on the grips of the bike. Um, on the left hand glove here, we have a large um, visor wipe, which is obviously useful again. In terms of what this glove competes with, um, it's not an inexpensive glove as we record this towards the end of October, no, end of November, sorry, 2019. It's priced at 159.99. Um, we think it's a fantastic glove um, and I don't think it represents poor value, but you can find gloves that do a similar job for less. I think one of our favorites would be the Risha Atlantic that's also a um, Gore-Tex Gore Grip laminated glove. That's somewhat less expensive. Risha have another glove called the Hurricane that's also worth looking at. In terms of sizing, um, it goes down from, or, or goes from a seven up to a 13. Um, there's a ladies version of the glove, which is known as the Suki Lady. It's basically the same as the same glove. Um, it goes down, to, uh, goes down to the same size, but it's a ladies fit. So it, it's a different fit to the men's fit. Um, so that's the Ruckavirium, um, amazing glove. I've got a pair of these. Most of my riding, I have to say, I'm embarrassed to say, I don't ride a lot in the winter. So I get the bike out at the beginning of April. I tend to put it away early November. Uh, once they start salting the roads, I'll wear this glove pretty much all year round. It has to be a really hot day where I figure I can't wear these and I'll wear a, a summer, a pure summer, a summer glove, a leather glove or something that's aerated. But most of the time, for most people, most of the time, this is going to be a great glove. Obviously with heated grips, you can wear it deeper into the winter. Um, if you'd like to read more about the glove, if you'd like more details, visit the website www.motolegends.com. Um, if you would like to receive future bulletins about products like this and new products, we have new products coming to the building pretty much every day of the week. So if you want to be kept informed of what's new and what's going on, subscribe on the website. On the front of the website, we have these little squares, they're called tiles, and there's one there for subscribing. If you're the kind of person who prefers to get your information like this video graphically, then please subscribe to our um, video bulletins, you can do that on the button below. Uh, it would be great to have you on board. So anyway, this has been Chris. This is the Rucker Abirium glove. You can't go wrong with one of these. We hope to talk to you soon.